movement and Manitowoc. As the city says, multiple large developments are making progress. I'm your Manitowoc neighborhood reporter Preston Stober near I-43, checking out one long-awaited project. Developers just broke ground on this new hotel, a future Hampton Inn. Manitowoc Community Development Director Adam Tagan says it was two years in the making. It's always exciting. Like I said, they can be a slog sometimes, so it's nice to see it get to the finish line. Uh, and in particular, this one being the first new hotel in 20 years in the city. It's part of a larger development plan here that will add a second hotel and a restaurant. Tagan says now the task is to try to have it ready in time for the 2025 NFL Draft. Fingers crossed that it will be. Obviously, they have a reason to want to be open for that. It's just a matter of uh, supply chains and how quick their contractor can work. Across town, demolition continues at the former Manitowoc Mall. Tegan says the site will be completely cleared by September or October. Hopefully just uh, topsoil and seed ready to turn green. Uh, and then in the meantime, obviously, we're continuing to work to try and then get new development on the site. A project that took a big step in its financing. A review board has approved a tax district for the property to help cover the cost of demolition and for future development. Uh, so that officially gets us kind of over the hump on the approvals. And then now we're working on the formal paperwork. And now I'm at another development that we have talked about, the Miro site in the heart of downtown Manitowoc. Tegan says he hopes for at least the south half of this property to be cleared by spring, making way for a 59-unit affordable housing project that is approved. And Manitowoc, Preston Stober, NBC26.